Keith, at halftime, as you well know, uh, USC honored one of the great names in Trojan football history. Coach John McKay, his son J.K. is here also. John, what do you remember most about this UCLA rivalry? Well, I remember how close it was, Mike. Every, every game was about like this. Uh, and we won some and we lost some. But I, I think it's one of the great rivalries in, in football. And, and I enjoyed being you know, a part of it. And we've had a fumble oh, that falls the knocked ball. loose from <laughs> Gaston Green. And the Trojans jump all over it and make a break for themselves at the UCLA 46. I wonder if there's anything to the fact that we were interviewing John McKay and uh, Southern Cal gets the ball. A little delay right here. Warning 74. Nice block. But Stokes, 31, gets his hand in there, knocks the ball loose from Gaston Green. Southern Cal's going to want John McKay to be interviewed uh, all the time. Maybe he can score a touchdown. The I ball always, was knocked loose, yeah. I always knew he had a mystic power anyway. <laughs> Ever since he came out of Oregon, where he's a running back. So from the Bruin 46 now, UCLA defense back on the field as the Trojans have just scored their first point, a field goal. Lockwood, big hole, and he's down to the 35 and a first down. And let's rejoin Mike for a moment. John, it's also, it's got to be a pleasure, too, to see 92,000 people back in the Coliseum. Oh, yeah, this is, this is tremendous. This is the crowds we used to have, and I think our team's playing pretty good, and I'm very proud of them, and I'm... I might have to stay down here. <laughs> I think you should, too. J.K., quickly, you know, you and Pat Hayden were one of the passing scourges of the Pac-10. What about your feelings about this rivalry? Well, it's a great rivalry. I'm really happy to have had played in it, and I enjoyed it very much. And we've got a great game going now. Okay, here he goes. Pete comes back over the middle. That's a good, tough pass under pressure. Lockwood hauls it in down to the UCLA.